the tab display in Moodle is a great way for you to display content for your course in an organized way. The screen that you are viewing now is a tab display. The tabs at the top allow you to tab through your content as you can see here. To create the tab display, we're going to return to our main Moodle course page. To create a label, turn editing on. Click the Add an Activity or Resource link at the bottom right corner of a block. A new pop-up window appears. Scroll to find the tab display icon under the Resources. Click the radio button and then click Add. A new window appears for you to create your tabbed content. Your tab display needs a name, which would typically refer to the kind of content that you would include in your tabbed resource. Our content is Camping in the Wilderness. The tabs themselves serve as subheadings for your content. In the tab 1 box, you'll type the name of your first subheading. We're going to make a three tab tab display. Choosing a campsite, setting up your tent, and tips for not getting eaten by bears. Our first subheading then is choosing a campsite. The tab content will include whatever text, images, or web links you would want to include to inform your student about choosing a campsite. When finished, click it Add a new tab. A new tab appears. Name the tab and include your content. Again, we're going to add one more tab. You'll notice at the bottom of each tab box, you can reorder the tabs if you decide that you want to move their order. If you want to display the tab navigation menu, click here. Restricting access is covered in a separate tutorial. Once complete, click Save and Display so that you can view your tab display. If you want to later edit your tabs, click Update this tab display in the top right corner of your screen. When creating your tabs, consider your student. Avoid large blocks of text that could possibly deter your reader. Use indents, white space, and pictures to make the tab display pages you create visually interesting. As always, if you would like assistance creating your tabs, please contact eLearning. We're here to help. This concludes your tutorial on creating the tabs display.